Hey guys, what is going on? So today we're trying out or comparing the Leech Vortex versus the Spectre Vortex. So we got three thermonuclear reactors, no overdrives. I thought it's more straightforward to just use three thermonuclear reactors. And we're gonna try one on each game. So first, let's start here with our, oh, what are we doing here? Let's start with our Spectre Vortex, boom. But yeah, we're gonna start actually with our Shellbot. So obviously the Shellbot making a huge impact on the game. Might be the best robot in the game right now, arguably with the Hawk. But um, yeah, we got our build here. Okay, we're gonna hit our ability and we have our energy shotguns. Boom, can we lock him down? Ah, okay, we didn't lock him down. Let's try to get center though. Okay, we're pushing, we're slowly pushing. Uh oh, we locked this guy down. Oh man, our lockdown didn't work. We were okay. And if we, we also have two fortifiers on this build. So that's going to give us 50% more physical shield durability, which is a lot. Let's hit our phase shift. We're going to clear at the center. I need some help. Okay, maybe now we can get it. There's a weird invader up there. Alright. Okay, we got the beacon. Now let's try to get to cover. No point in wasting shield durability. Oh, this guy is actually only 70 meters above us. So we can hit him right now. Let's get him. Boom, that did some damage. That invader. Oh, can we get him? Oh, it's gonna be close. Yeah, boom, there we go. And that is why the shell is so powerful. You can't sneak up behind it because it's got shields all around it. When you do kill it, you gotta either, you know, smoke it with rocket if you have enough of them or uh oh, I know or you gotta somehow break the shields and get through to the center to the core okay, in two minutes, now let's drop our specters, we got specter vortex octanian drone three thermonuclear reactors, no last day and no phase shift and a 350 meter range and we do have most pilot skills. I don't have all the pilot skills just because I ran out of the gold, but I have like all of them except two. So here we are. Um, and with the Vortex, if you haven't realized this yet, the Vortex are best when it's a slow or non-moving object like this guy. Boom! That's what I'm talking about. So that Spectre, he was pretty small, like it's a small um, target, but he wasn't moving. So that's when you do maximized or maximal damage. Okay, we're moving, we're moving. Oh, this guy jumped. Can we hit him? Can we hit him? Boom! Here we go. Nice. That's exactly what we need. There's almost no point in firing at, like, a phantom that's running across the battlefield because you're just not going to hit him. Ooh, we got suppressed there. Oh, Scorpion, Scorpion! Oh, man, our ability's not ready. We might get taken out. Ooh, can we jump out of here? We gotta jump out of here. Let's jump. Boom! Okay, we finished off that phantom. Alright, alright. We've got 100,000 HP. Hundo Thou HP. This guy. Nice! There's another kill. Rampage already. Jeez. It, I don't know if you guys realize this, but rampages and kill streaks with one hit weapons are so much harder these days. Because, you know, they have the reload. And you gotta hit them in one shot to kill them. So it makes it a lot more difficult. I knew that scorpion was gonna teleport behind us. He was staring right at us and I saw him go. Yeah, that's how you play it. I saw him start to get invisible and I was like, he's coming behind us. And I jumped back and he didn't even realize what happened. Alright, let's move up. We get three beacons right now, which is good. Ooh. We're moving up a little bit. I'm trying to hit stagnant targets. This guy, this guy. Boom! There we go. That was a lot of damage. Ooh, it's a Nightingale, too. So we got this beacon, but we still only have three beacons, which means. Ooh, they have our home. They have our far left home. Hit this guy. Bingo! Man, we're cleaning up kills with this. The other games I was playing with this build, 
it does not work this well. There we go. Boom! Double kill. Ooh. Yeah, Falcon just has so much durability. It's hard to compete. Okay, we're doing more damage because we're in the air with our legendary pilot. Uh, even with that. And we hit our healing, so we did the Octanium damage. Boost. Ah. That still was a pretty good run. I was pretty impressed with that run with the Spectre and Vortex. This is a close game. We give a slight lead on the beacon bar. Can we get this guy? Get this guy. Ah. Let's finish off the clip there. So we do have a lot of robots. Like that was our second robot, so... You know, we have a Restoro Hanger plus the Titan. In case we need it. It's 5 on 5 right now, I think? 5v5. We have a slight beacon bar lead. We got two Arthurs. Good thing this build it does damage the Arthur. The flamethrowers go right through the shield. Okay, let's reload. And back up. Uh-oh. Ooh, okay, this isn't good. Uh, we do not want to be getting four beacons right now. We're dealing some pretty good damage here. I think we're getting help, though, too. Okay, help me out, Arthur. Help me out, bro. I'm reloading. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Clear them out. Now they're grabbing four beacons, though? That's not good. I might have to ditch this. Let's just waste. Let's try to just damage this Minos and then get out of here. Okay, finish off the clip. Finish. Oh, no. Now we got to kill this, heart, this leech. Man, it's 5v3. He got four beacons right now. There we go. Boom. Torched him. Okay, let's ditch this thing. You know what? Let's get a beacon runner before we drop our Arthur. We can't let them get any more beacons right now. It's too close. Oh, come on. This area's don't lock me down. Don't lock me down. Boom. Get inside his circle. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Are they making out? They might be making out. Oh, I couldn't do the triple jump because my jump unit was still loading up. Okay, I think we might have this under control. They got one guy and we have six. I don't even know how we have six because we had like four a minute ago. We just gained players as the game went on. Oh, we didn't get the beacon. Dang. Alright. That was a pretty good game. Pretty good game. Let's see what we did for damage here. 3.1 million, three beacons. That's pretty good considering a lot of the damage with the Spectre Vortex. All right, guys, so here is a clip now from the Leech Spectre. Not Leech Spectre, Leech Vortex game. So obviously you don't have the jump, but now you have the Leech ability, which is a lot stronger. And you can really brawl with it if you want to. That's a shell bond, so Ooh, I think we broke that shield down. So we dropped in. This is a couple minutes later into the game. I didn't think the game was that great, so I'm just showing you the leech part of it. And I realized last time I used the leech in the video, I used the legendary pilot that decreases your ability, like absorption. So that's why I was taking so much damage with my ability on. But now, I know. Now I have the different pilot, the better pilot, where my speed is increased when my ability is activated. I'm trying to reload and then arch these projectiles over. I'm trying to hit those. Ooh. Okay, see a good time to hit, like right here, right when he lands. Boom, there we go. So right when a flying robot hits the ground, it stops moving for like a split second. So that's the perfect time to hit them. If we can just drop these vortex into the gap. We do have a Octanian drone as well. As you can see, it's very useful having this ability because it just deters so many enemies just knowing you're a leech. Like, if you're a Spectre, somebody will, an enemy will definitely just come at you. From a distance, they can't really see you running Vortex, but they do see that you're a leech. So they might be more weary of coming at you. Oh, let me get this guy. A bit got blocked. Nice. That was pretty good damage. Then we might.
Uh oh. See, this, I don't know if this was a good decision because I thought I could get the gap beacon, but I left the home beacon instead. But then somebody dropped in at the. So I probably should have ditched it. So guys, that is the leech vortex for a specter vortex. I do think I like the specter, honestly, just because you can get that. You can jump and then get those crazy angles to shoot them, even though it's more vulnerable, but you probably shouldn't stay in it the whole game anyways. So the leech ability might work against you, honestly, keeping you alive for way longer. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time.